What is up everyone? Welcome back to another Figma review and this is Figma number 256 Narukami Yu from Persona 4 The Ultimax Ultra Suplex Hold Or as it says outside the brackets hero as he doesn't have a name in Persona 4 As for the fighting game this Figma is actually based on I have no idea as I only played it for about 5 minutes while drunk in a game center So I don't remember Anyway there is the right hand side of the box The left hand side The top as well as the bottom which is identical And there are those pictures on the back of the box and so far this looks awesome, so let's bust it out and see what we've got. So there's the clear inner packaging, it doesn't look like we've got a whole lot of stuff in here. Two alternate faces, an alternate hair section, katana, glasses, card, as well as a pair of clasped hands for Aegis here. Up in the top we've got some instructions. Actually they're not quite instructions, it seems like they've changed the Figma stand. Well that's probably good to know. As for what's in the bottom down here, we've got that standard Figma bag, the actual instructions, the stand, the base, and the alternate hands. Not much of the actual instructions either though, but let's move on to the main event and check out the figure itself. But first let's check out this fancy new stand so this bends a whole lot more to the front than that older style one but like the instructions say the side with these little arrows here doesn't bend back any further than that. But damn that is definitely an awesome redesign. Sometimes I just found the older style couldn't get low enough. But anyway onto the figure. So there he is straight out of the box and Max Factory has definitely delivered again. It really is that awesome Figma matte paint that steals the show here yet again. Even though you cannot see it at much of a distance, you can see under the camera that there is a slight blemish on this one's face there. And when I say slight, I do mean that's only a fraction of a millimeter, but on the face, it's hard not to miss. It also seems like they've gone with a more deadpan Persona 4 look, as opposed to that slightly more attitude -y version from the fighting games. The hair looks great as well, and that's all in a solid matte grey all the way around. Moving down to the body, and this looks great as well, but what you might notice is everything is done just in in one shade of color. There's no highlighting, no low lights, no real definition on there. However, that does mean it retains a really nice clean look. We've also got some metallic gold buttons as well as some nice stitch detailing. That silver, black and gold detailing around the collar is incredibly impressive. That looks really good. Some more metallic buttons on the back there and you will notice that his jacket does billow out. I only got the standard version. I didn't get the exclusive off the Good Smile side, but that one does come with a standard non-billowing jacket. Some more interesting Intricate detail down on the belt, more stitching down the sides of the trousers, as well as down here on his shoes. So there he is with everything that he comes with. And what we've got for hands is those default fists, a pair of widespread open hands, a pair of holding hands, a right hand for holding the glasses, as well as this left hand for sticking in his pocket. However, it is worth mentioning he doesn't actually have any pockets. And of course, not to forget that hand holding the persona card. As for faces, we've got the default face, a shouting face, and what is is my personal favorite of the bunch, this white eye damage taking face. And there is that extra hair part with the glasses attached and I really feel this does add to the face what was missing and just looks a lot less plain. As well as those we also have his katana and there are those clasped hands for Aegis and basically these are just for suplexing you. Just like this picture here on the box but sadly these don't connect together so well they are a little bit on the loose side. So now moving on to articulation and as always from the head down. There is the head all the way down to the front all the way back, so many are getting the action to the front, but it's pretty interesting to note that the whole chest section moves when he looks up and down, so that's a pretty cool design. Looking side to side, and that can spin all the way around, but doesn't feel too good. And there is that side to side tilt. The arm all the way up the shoulder, that's pretty good. That can rotate all the way around. Of course the jacket here is flexible, as that can be removed to change it out for the exclusive part. There's that bend at the elbow. The wrist is what you'd usually expect. It is a little bit blocked by the sleeve, but not much. Even though this whole shirt section is flush, this is a soft material, so there is a bend in there at the waist. There it is all the way to the front. Towards the back, it's pretty much only at the waist. There it is again to the front and to the back. There's the leg all the way up to the front, all the way to the back, both a little bit limited. And there they are all the way out to the sides and that is pretty good. There is the bend at the knee, at the ankle, the foot all the way down, all the way up. That can go side to side and we've also got that pivot. Last up then is the bend at the toes. 
So that is it for the review, and I really have to say that Narukami Yu really is another great addition to the Figma line. Especially to that paltry handful of Persona characters, there really needs to be more. Anyway, you've got your usual great Figma quality, however it is a little bit lacking in the accessories department, I would have liked to see more. But then again, this is from the fighting game, and I'm not sure if there would be any more to add there. So if you are a Persona fan, I really do feel this is one you can't miss. I love Persona 4 The Golden, so I had to have it straight away. Anyway, as always, Thank you very much for watching and make sure to come back for more Figma reviews. See you next time.